What is the function of a trust protector? Welcome to Barry's Bites. Please join our host, attorney and financial advisor Chris Barry. The role of a trust protector, it's really defined by the document, but typically the reason why we would build in trust protectors, we don't always, and we don't always have to, and it's not required, but it just gives us more flexibility. If a trust were to lock down for whatever reason due to incapacity or death, and there's some type of change that should be made, you can have a trust protector appointed, which could be the person drafting the documents, could be someone else, but typically it's the person who drafts the documents is named as a trust protector because they're most familiar with what's going on. So while you're alive and well, typically you can make changes, but a lot of times it will become a point or maybe you'll set up an irrevocable trust where some terms of the trust or provisions are locked down to a certain extent. So by appointing a trust protector, Rather than having to go to court, we can make whatever changes may be necessary. Probably the best example where we've utilized the role of the trust protector. This was a number of years ago. I had a client, special needs. We set up a special needs trust. Mom and dad passed away. We had named, let's say, Bank of America as the trustee of the special needs trust. And then Bank of America decided to stop servicing special needs trusts at this level of assets. And so rather than having to go to court to appoint, say, another trustee, we were able to use the trust protector language to administratively make a change to a document that had become irrevocable upon death to appoint another trustee. So we're able to affect the goals of the planning without having to spend the time, effort, money of going to court to get those changes made. So think of it as just one ability to build in kind of one last chance, one last bite of an apple before we would have to go to court to make some changes to documents. So it just gives some flexibility. It's not required or necessary in every document, but in certain circumstances, it it typically makes sense. (laughs) 